Hi there, and welcome to Art Vids for Kids, where we can explore fascinating artworks and learn new things together virtually. My name is Janet, and I'm a museum guide at the Dayton Art Institute. In this video, we'll be looking at a painting called Flying Pup King by an artist who lives and works in Japan. His name is Yoshitomo Nara, and he loves to show children and dogs in his art. You will want to have paper and pencil for this. Feel free to pause the video while you collect what you need. All set? Let's get started. First, take a few moments to just really look. Okay, what was the very first thing that got your attention? Pause the video if you'd like and write that down. I wonder if I can guess what you first noticed. Was it the bright white color of the pup against the deep darkness of the background? Or was it the golden crown? Maybe the pup's cherry red nose? Did I guess your answer? Next, what kinds of shapes and what colors can you find? Pause the video and write these down, too. Finally, is there anything you find strange or weird about this pup? A work of art can sometimes tell us a story. A portrait can tell a story about a person, or in this case, a dog. There are clues here that can help you find a story. Maybe you've already written some of them down. What is the Pup King's story? For instance, why is the nose red and round like a cherry? My dog's nose is black, wet, and undulating. That means her nose moves and wiggles a lot. But does this look like a real-life dog? Maybe this pup reminds you more of a member of the Paw Patrol. Is Pup King a hero or an evil villain? The artist, Yoshitomo Nara, is telling us a story with a picture, but no words. Comics can do this too, but sometimes they have words. Do you like comics? Mr. Nara does too. Why do you think he named this painting Flying Pup King? Do you think the pup's unusual pose makes him look like an airplane? Especially with that straight-up tail. I think his eyes look like the front windows of an airplane, but I also think they look a little angry. Do you think his eyes look angry? And where is he flying to? That sky is awfully dark. Is it nighttime? I see no stars, no moon. If you were to draw your own pup king, what would you add or change? We'd love to see your story or picture ideas. You might ask an adult to help send us your art or stories about this painting. Visit www.daytonartinstitute.org slash learn and click Digital Resources to learn more. And... If you want to see the actual, real painting of the Flying Pup King in person, and I hope you do, you'll find the painting in American Wing, Gallery Number 201. Thanks for joining me, and please check back for future art vids for kids.